Hello, I'm Valkyrie um, and one In digesting the ideas and discussions that's being used around the proposed homeless camping ordinance, a uh, couple of things aren't sitting right with me. One is the idea that homeless camping shouldn't be taking place in residential areas or near parks and schools. And the other has to do with neighborhood opposition and the apparent position of the council that such opposition should be considered and the neighborhood should have a say in who gets to live in them. I feel like we've forgotten that every single homeless person once lived in a home. All of them. Whether it was a few months ago or a few years ago. Those on the street were once your neighbors and perhaps your co-workers. They all lived in houses. Many had jobs, many had children. They were members of your community. They still are. Now I'm lucky enough to live in a house, but I'll admit I don't know all my neighbors well. The website tells me there's 13 predatory sex offenders in my neighborhood. I'm not thrilled, but I also have no control over it. State law mandates that they register, but no one asked my permission when they moved into my neighborhood. Similarly, I learned that there's numerous convicted felons in my neighborhood. No one ever held a neighborhood council meeting asking me how I felt about that. No one ever sought my approval before they took residence on my block. There are drug addicts and dealers on my block, and I've never seen anyone at this podium protesting their presence in my neighborhood. Everyone's worried about criminals amongst the homeless, but the simple fact is that the majority of thieves, thugs, sex offenders, convicted felons, substance abusers, and career criminals in this town all live in houses. All of them. They are already your neighbors. And I don't see or hear any political forces mobilizing and fighting to keep them out of our neighborhoods. So why are the homeless being treated so differently? Why does anyone in their right mind think it's acceptable to hold the homeless to higher standards than the state does for predatory sex offenders? So again, let's rely on facts instead of fear and accept that homeless people are quite experienced at living in residential neighborhoods and that the people we should really fear are the ones who are already living in our neighborhoods, not the ones who are sleeping in our parks. And yet there's all this constant fear and worry expressed from every corner in the city about the dangers of allowing people without homes to sleep. Fear that's unfortunately reflected back by some city officials. And I watch time and time again as we bow down to bigoted pressure from powerful and entitled NIMBYs in this community who think that they should be able to dictate who lives in their neighborhood. I'm reminded time and time again that back in the day, neighborhoods and municipalities had very wide latitude on who to allow in their neighborhood. And such practices were just discriminatory by the Supreme Court. Um, restricting the homeless to industrial neighborhoods is nothing more than a modern version of redlining. I was in a meeting last week concerning campers in the wetlands. Over and over again, I hear a reference to the problems. They are not problems. They are people. They are people. They are people. They are as human as you and I. They are as brilliant and as flawed as you and I. They are us. They are just like anyone in this room. How can we claim to be a human rights city when so many seemingly can't stand behind the principle that the homeless are people who are entitled to basic human rights? Thank you.